Hello YouTubers, this is Brad the Tinkerer back with another video that might help somebody out there. Here's the problem. You make a call for heat in my bedroom and the air intake is there. Underneath that screen is a filter. The air sucks in through that intake, goes to the heater up in the attic, but the problem is there's no hot air coming out of my register. I can tell that the heater is on and there's a little tiny bit of hot air maybe that's moving through there, but very, very little. It does not heat my bedroom. So we go to the attic. Up in the attic is the heater. I have a train XR80 heater. And the first thing you want to do is look in that hole at that light blinking. That light sometimes will tell you what the problem is. When it blinks just on and off like that, it, there's no problem. But a couple years ago, I came up here, the heater was not working, and that light would blink five times and then stop, and then five times and then stop. You go to your owner's manual and it says five times and then stopping means that there's a control board issue. So I had to hire a guy to come and fix my control board. But this time it was blinking normally. I could hear the fan turning and I could see and feel the heat coming from the gas jets. So I knew something might be working correctly and maybe I could fix it. Before you want to work on these, you want to turn the power off. My power switch is actually up there. So find your power switch, turn it off. The way that this works is this is where the air intake comes in. So it goes through that grate that we f first saw, comes through a filter. The air comes in through this, enters the unit. There's a fan in here that then blows the air into the heating jets, and then it goes out to the registers. So you take this door off. Now I would turn my power off before I would mess with this, but you can test this by defeating this safety switch and you can watch what's working and what's not working. And what I found was in here, that's where the air comes in, and that is the fan. And the fan was turning, and the heating element was going on. So, there's no airflow coming through here. So, when you go on the internet, the first thing they talk about is replacing or cleaning your filters. Well, that's possible, so I did that, took the filter out, it was pretty clean air then comes around, the fan then could be a problem. But the fan was turning, so I knew the motor was working, the gas jets were coming on. There could be a block into these pipes that then go to the registers, but for all three of them to be blocked, that would be very unusual, so that didn't make sense to me. So, coming back to this area, going on the internet also, it talks about, well, maybe the fan blades are just really dirty. Well, that wasn't my problem. It turns out these motors, they're just electric motors that run this fan. And they these two wires come to a capacitor right there. It's called a run capacitor. It's held on by that little bracket there. So I undid that screw, took out that bracket, and took out that capacitor. This is what it looks like. That's the old capacitor. Now when you take these things off, they hold a charge to them. So you want to discharge this. And I do it by touching it with a, with a screwdriver. Now I've read maybe that's not the best way to discharge a capacitor. So before you do this, you might want to check how you would like to discharge this capacitor. But this does hold a charge and you can get shocked by this. So be careful. But these capacitors basically store energy and allow that 
engine or motor to turn up to high speed. So it wasn't doing that correctly. And when you look at these things, they can actually be bulging or they can be um, dented or puffy around the edges. This one wasn't bulging at all, but it was leaking a little bit of fluid right down the side of this capacitor. So I thought, well, maybe this is bad. You can actually buy tools to check these capacitors, but instead I just went ahead and bought another one. Bought one for $9 on Amazon. So I got this capacitor, plugged it back in, hooked it up, and now the heater runs perfectly. So hopefully I saved you some money. Uh, if you like this video, send me a comment. I like reading them. And otherwise, good luck.